Here you can see some planes flying in 3D. We're going to look at motion in two and three dimensions and do a little bit more rigorous treatment of displacement and velocity as vectors and then move on to acceleration and use that then to examine a couple of special cases of projectile motion, uniform circular motion, and then end up with some relative motion comparing different things moving with respect to one another. So vectors, we have our position vector. And in three dimensions, you have your x, y, and z axes. And those axes will represent unit vectors going in those directions using i, j, and k with the hats above it. So a unit vector just means it has magnitude one, it has no units on it, it just gives you a direction. So you can multiply a number by the unit vector to give you a vector going in that direction. So i, j, and k correspond to x, y, and z. And so then when you have some point p here that you can think about the position could be a function of time where the x, y, and z positions could all be changing over time, then you can define a position vector r as a function of time as those positions times their unit vectors to put them in that direction. So it's basically whatever your x position is, that's going in the i hat direction. I might also sometimes say x hat direction because I've sometimes used that. But I'll try and stick to the i hat, j hat, and k hat. So it's the x times the i hat plus y times the j hat plus c times the k hat. So that's a position. A point in space has that position. And we use r to talk about this general position. And then we can define displacement as we did before as a change in position. And so just to be clear, this position is a vector and it's defined with respect to this coordinate system uh, where your origin is 0, 0, 0, x, y, z, 0, 0, 0, and your point is then defined in terms of that. So now we have a vector that goes from the origin to the point we're considering. So that's a position vector. Then our displacement vector is a difference between two position vectors. So if you start at point one at one point in time and we're at point two at some later point in time, we want to know our displacement. You can take your position vector at, at point one and position vector at point two and take the difference between them or final minus initial. My displacement vector is the difference between my final position vector coming from the origin going to this final point and the, init the initial displacement initial position vector are evaluated at time one. So that's the basics of position vectors and displacement vectors.